going to make a video vlog uh, about periods. Just, I'm going to take you with my cycle this whole entire period. Um, right now I am in my winter period just right now. I just found out I'm bleeding. I finally am bleeding because I was four days late. But I can have a cycle from 21 days to 47 days. So um, I'm happy that it finally somehow gets regular. So oh, Because <clears throat> I don't want to have control over my body. I don't want to have control over my cycle. But I do want to live around my cycle and make plans around my cycle. And when I'm in my winter and fall time, I want to take more time for myself, go, go more inwards, respect the knowledge and wisdom that comes through at those times. So I um, really want to take time to not to go out too much and not to connect with people too much at those times. There we go. There we go. I was so excited. I planned this video vlog for so long. I was waiting for my menstruation to come. And now it is, is here. So that I... So now I can vlog it. And, uh, why am I going to vlog it? It's because every part of the cycle has like a season. For me, when I'm bleeding, it's like the winter because winter is standing for going in the words, taking rest, taking care of the self. So uh, for me, that's the winter time. Maybe you can see it on my eyes, but I'm very tired. And uh, another thing that I noticed yeah. is I have PMS before yeah. I menstruate. Not when we menstruate, but before we menstruate mostly. And I know that when I'm in my uh, fall period, things can happen that trigger things that need to be healed. And those situations never come up until I'm in my fall period. And I get triggered so bad. Uh, but it means that there's something that needs to be healed. My kids are here too because I'm a homeschooling mom. Just that you know. Um, <laughs> And yesterday uh, was a very emotional day. I was stressed. I, uh, my youngest one kept running away, always opening up doors and, and uh, wanted to run away um, because he wanted to play. Um, so yeah, it was a busy day. It was a stressful day and an emotional one. And a lot came up and I could have known that my menstruation was about to come but I instinct, stink, instinctively I instinctively knew that it was coming and uh, I already wear my uh, washable pads yeah here they are and uh, yeah, it's time to rest now I wear a lot of white. I don't know why I choose to wear white today. Black. But I think I'm going to change up to a little bit more black, black down there. <laughs> because, yeah. To make okay. sure. Okay. Moving on to my day. This is what I want to do all day long. <laughs> Cuddling with those three. Doing nothing. Today someone uh, comes to help us with something in the house and I needed to clean a bit and uh, carry some heavy things to upstairs. So I start having more pain, bleed more, get tired more. So now I really, 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 really have to rest because normally I would not do that. Normally I would listen to my body, but today... Yeah, someone's coming to do something in the house, so um, yeah, I need it to do that. So, um, but for the rest of the day, I'm going to try not to do too much and just enjoy these three. <laughs> We're watching a television, uh, some something on Netflix that they love to watch. So yeah, I want to live. <laughs> 
flat on the floor in the grass with my belly. The first day always hurts a little bit more. It's also because I don't really rest it from the beginning. So I feel like my clothes are hurting me, like my underwear. Normally it doesn't it, they are big enough so they don't squeeze my 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 belly but now it like squeezes and hurts so I want to be naked <laughs> but there's someone working in our house making something so I can't really walk around naked also we have a train always driving by we have neighbors we have the fireman working next to our house like on that side so mm, I wish we lived in the woods and I could be like fun <laughs> I'm gonna walk naked in the woods see you later <laughs> we did it calm today we had an amazing interview today with a student uh, she is doing um, research about stay-at-home moms and it reminded me how strong we are and that it's okay to sometimes feel alone or that it's hard and to love it and enjoy it at the same time and that we need each other as women help each other and connect with one another that's so important and now i did a little womb healing my boy is sleeping so i did a visualization where i did go into my womb space and uh, i asked to my womb to heal what needs to be healed right now and I saw the vision of my mother, grandmother, uh, my sister, my daughter, and ancestors, women that uh, carry wounds, and uh, we were healing it together, like in a circle. Even though I don't have contact with my mother anymore. Doesn't mean you can't heal the womb wound that's connected from her to you. Our womb is uh, our feminine, most feminine energy. Connecting your womb with your heart is very important. And healing the trauma and the pain that is giving true from birth, from your parents, from your grandparents, from your ancestors, from your own traumas, from partners you had sex with. Because when you have sex, you exchange your energies and it keeps being there. But your womb is like a sacred space connected to Mother Earth. It's the space of creation and if you want to manifest an amazing life you must heal your womb because we create from our womb and if we carry pain we will create more pain we will manifest more pain food delivery some fruit too dark. <laughs> apple! Yay, man! Some food. It's an apple And... Yeah. Clothing livery. Clothing livery. Apple! <laughs> apple, apple, apple! Apple! Isn't it amazing? My husband, when he knew I was menstruating, he called his mother and asked if she would want to cook 
today. He's gonna be late home also, so he knows that the first day, first two days, I'm a little bit in pain. So cooking and standing long hurts a little bit, so it's a little bit harder. And isn't it amazing when a husband respects your menstrual moon time, respects the moment when you bleed and when you have a little bit of pain or a little, little bit of less energy to do all those things and like if we want if we lived in tribes like we're supposed to the grandmothers that don't bleed anymore would take over the cooking and taking care of the kids and helping and his mother my mother-in-law uh, made food for us and helped with uh, clothing so she, um, I don't know how you call it in English, you know, the, the, yeah, flattening. <laughs> and she helped with that also because, yeah, clothing okay. from five people, washing it, cleaning it, folding it, ironing it, that's it. <laughs> Takes a lot of time and uh, if you're a homeschooling mother or just a home, stay-at-home mother, it takes a lot of work and at these times if she wants to do that at this time of my month it's so amazing and i'm so grateful thankful it's amazing that's what a mother does so i don't have contact with my mother she had never done that for me but i'm so 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 grateful that his mother does it and that she's a little bit of a mother for me too so the apple <laughs> there we are gonna eat apples i think yeah apple apple yeah mm -hmm. but just so you know it's not because she did one laundry basket i don't have to work like this is freshly washed all there is a basket that's all um, underwear and socks. This is done yesterday. I'm gonna try to pull them open. There's still a lot of laundry in it, in both of them. And this is freshly washing today. So, still have to lot, a lot to do. Still have a lot to do. <laughs> and now we are going upstairs because this is not all yet <laughs> so now we are upstairs <laughs> and these two are washing I already washed them this one needs to be ironed this all needs to be fold this one needs to be This one needs to be fall too. I don't um, iron all the clothes. And here, downstairs, I already ironed it. <laughs> I already did this one yesterday. So I just had to put it in the closet. So it's not because she did one. I don't have to work, just so you know, because being a stay-at-home mom is a freaking hard working job. I love it. I would never change it. I love my kids. I love what I'm doing. Just so you know. But it's okay to say it's a lot of work. It's freaking a lot of work. And yes, it can be hard sometimes. And yes, I'm tired sometimes. And yes, I need me time sometimes. And that's okay too. <laughs> Well, then you're menstruating and then I think just not today just not today to all the women out there of course we love the guys too but to all the women remember who you are because you are more powerful than you could ever imagine remember your magic because you are a goddess to all the mothers out there <laughs> I love my three kids. I love them so much. We create new life. 
you bring it upon this earth. Goddesses, you're amazing. Remember it. So love yourself. Take care of yourself. Remember. So it's evening right now. I'm going to do a ritual. I did it uh, right on my wish. This is moon blood because this is really creation energy. It's magical. It's powerful. It's amazing. So we are going to do a ritual. We are at the end of our, our moon cycle. I'm almost done bleeding. And these tears are not of my sadness or something. I'm not sad, just that. I was listening to music and music always brings me in some trance where I can go so deep within myself. And I danced, I opened up my root chakra i twerked twerking opens up your root chakra and now i'm just listening to a song and it brings me to my core it brings me to my true authentic self and that is why the moon time your winter time is so powerful when you allow the darkness to go inwards the darkness is not a bad place, it's not a place of pain. The darkness is like the womb, and the womb is not a place of pain and trauma. The womb is a place of wisdom, creation, and new life. And I saw myself, I call myself Willow Tree, because I, felt a big, I feel a big connection to the Willow Tree and the wisdom that the trees have to bring. And I saw myself as a willow tree, crowned with my roots into the earth, with my branches up into the sky, connected to the circle. And holding hands, or holding branches. All the women rooted their roots. And some had flowers, some had some little branches, some had more trees already. And I was like the wise big willow. Not that I feel like I'm more or wiser, every woman is wise. But I feel like I'm a, a shaman or a witch, which is a wise woman that is here to help the woman remember who they are, to remember their power and their magic and to claim it back, to remember who they are, what they are and to help them grow because the willow tree helps other tree grow. If you cut down willow tree branches and put it in water, and give that water to other plants that are trying to grow or having a hard time growing, they will grow faster. Because the willow tree brings the wisdom to them to remember who they are so that they can grow. So the willow tree is a very, very powerful tree. And even though in my own menstrual cycle, I thought spring is coming, I still kept feeling in my winter time and it's like nature supporting me and being in winter time with me so even though now I'm not bleeding anymore I felt like I wasn't ready to go out and be in my spring so I decided to just respect that time of my month and just to respect the feelings that I'm having. So I did go inwards and will keep going inwards as long as it takes. And the things that came up was like, 
Oh my God, me and my husband are 13 years together. 13 years. That's actually a long time, like a magical number. Like the one and the three are a very beautiful number. And we have been through so much. Like I'm a projector in my human design. I started to learn about that and learned that my husband is a projector too. Which opens up some perspective of my husband too for me and to understand more. And when we met, we were just 17. I was uh, unhappy, had a depression had an eating disorder, even was suicidal back then. Like, I was fucking deep inside my darkest, darkest me. And yet, he um, helped me to come out of that, to start loving myself. And as a projector, we see the potential in other people. And I realize right now that he, as a projector, even though I was in so much pain, was so troubled, was like so <laughs> fucked up. He saw the best in me, loved me and felt my true potential core. So he said yes to me. Like, isn't that the best invitation you can get as a projector? Saying yes to each other. Like, that's so amazing. And we have been through so much love, so much amazingness, but also so much pain and trauma. Like, we have both lost a child. We have been in a car accident. I have been through my own trauma healing. And we have learned from each other, have mirrored traumas upon each other and grow from it and that's so amazing our relationship is so freaking strong and i feel like we are in another shift in up leveling our relationship because um he had an amazing childhood he had more luxury he had literally everything i didn't have and that's amazing. I, I'm so grateful that he had to go through that. And that I, I'm i grateful for all the lessons, the hard lessons I had learned. It's like a big ayahuasca trip that I had been through, but a really dark one to get where I'm at right now as a witch, as a healer, as a woman, as a shaman myself. Like it was the biggest awakening trip I could ever go through and I'm so 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 grateful for that I can't express it how much gratefulness I'm feeling inside <laughs> so oh my god I just wanted to share this with all of you because how deep you can come from how much pain and how less you can have you can grow from it because it's the soil. It's the soil of your future. And I can tell you, if you go into it and learn from it and feel it, you will grow and you will one day will feel the same gratitude I am feeling right now. And... After that, my life started when I met him. We started our relationship and we go through our shit and our amazingness together. And we started our life living together. We get married at 21, I guess I was. I was 21 years old. Next year... Then we started living together, bought our home, getting children. And boy, it was a journey. It wasn't easy always, no. It wasn't all roses and moonshine. It was like roller coasters of 
scariness and amazingness and it was life that's how life feels we lived we live and um, because of his past he chose to live in a bigger house a little bit more luxury and I get ben the feel the benefits of that to feel how it is to live in luxury, not having money issues, literally having everything of abundance through my husband. Because I don't earn money, I'm a stay-at-home mom, I homeschool my kids. I'm always home and starting a business right now and I have felt so much abundance through him. But the thing was, I always keep getting in depressions still. Even though I had an amazing relationship, my dreams came true to have kids, we live in an amazing house, we have all the abundance, my husband has an amazing job, like we have literally everything. And I still did get into depressions, probably because of my traumatic childhood. It was a hard childhood, so it wasn't easy to get out of it. And I needed to heal a, a lot. So that's why depression still came up, because depression is like deep, pressed emotions. Like they are suppressed inside and needed to come out. And you need to take deep rest. Like winter, like really winter vibes. So a depression is not to be ashamed for, but I felt ashamed. I expressed my feelings like once to my mother a long time ago and like she shamed me for feeling what I was feeling. So I started doubting my feelings, but then I realized that, um, yeah, I it's a compass. Your feelings are showing you the way. And when you still keep going into depression, it's like you have to heal a lot. But I realized that I also was not living the life true to me. Even though some people would say like, you have literally everything, you have an amazing house, like blah, blah, blah. Yes, I am living a life someone else would do everything for but when this life is not true to me it's not authentic then i will never be completely happy because i'm super happy and grateful for all the things i have for all the things i had for the life that is given to me from source from the universe so fucking thank you so much like i'm so grateful that i did get to live all the luxury and get to live this life i'm so grateful that we could raise our children in this home and give them a home and give them two parents that love each other those are things that i never had as a child so i'm so grateful that i did get to give that to my kids so yes yes i'm saying yes to this i'm happy but it also learned me that I would now would, am ready to say goodbye to this place where I live right now and to start a new life. Like this home, it's a big house, it's a villa, it's amazing. I'm, I'm so thankful for it. But now I realize who I am. It gives me the... It gave me the opportunity to learn who I am. And I am someone that would give all this luxury up for simple living in a small cabin in the middle of nature, in the woods. Like, I would give it all away just to live more simple, to live a simpler life. And uh, yes, someone else would be happy here and be happy with the schools around here because I don't feel like the schools that are here are what I would want to give my kids and would 
and my kids did go to school and it didn't fit them too so I know it's not true to them too so I know there is a life somewhere for us that is more amazing and more true to who we are so even though yes I am so grateful no this is not true anymore for us and we both want this my my husband also uh, is ready for the shift we are both like we want to get out of here we are um, lovingly saying goodbye to this place on earth and getting ready to say hello to our new home to our true authentic home and yeah our life is a journey and we are going to this to we are going through this together and ah oh, we are saying yes yes to all of it yes so never feel ashamed for your feelings even if you're in an amazing relationship and you still feel like this is not the perfect partner for me don't make yourself stories up like but he is amazing or she is amazing or i don't want to hurt that person if you want to break up something i don't want me and my husband are like hardcore in love <laughs> even after 13 years so I'm not telling a story of mine, but we are like this with our home. It's like an amazing home and we can tell ourselves stories like, oh, this is an amazing home, it's so beautiful, it's it's so big, it's like everything someone else would want. It doesn't mean it's something we want. So we are living in a house that is a dream of someone else and staying here would be selfish because this is someone else's dream too. So we are living a dream of someone else so staying in a relationship you're taking someone from someone else that maybe would be the perfect person for that other person or living in a house that isn't true to you is taking a dream for, from someone else not sharing your gifts into the world because of insecurity is selfish because you are taking your gift from someone else and you're holding back of helping others so don't let you be shamed of what you feel and stay true to who you are because who you are is who you are meant to be and staying authentic will bring you to the place you are meant to be and know that journey isn't easy it's letting go and going for new things taking steps it's grieving also because letting go of this house i have gave birth to three children two of them home births here like i raised my children here so i have emotional attachment to this stone house <laughs> So yes, it still is grieving, and but that doesn't mean you have to stay. It means you have to grieve a little bit, let go of it, and yeah, go with the flow and just feel it. But stay true to who you are. <sighs> I am going to end this video. I was saying that I was going to share my complete um, cycle but I feel like it's already a long video of my winter cycle so I'm going to end this video with a thank you for listening and tuning in and watching I'm so grateful but I'm going to end this vlog and going to cut down my cycle into four videos like the next one will be the spring then the summer and then the fall and yeah keep watching thank you so much Mwah. what do we find <laughs> no <laughs> april's full 
One week you're rubbing yourself in with sunscreen. <laughs> scuddy, scuddy, scuddy. <laughs> the next you know, <laughs> you're wearing snow clothes. This is Belgium. This is the first snow we have this year and it's spring. <laughs> and this is a snow dog and she loves it. She loves it. 